internet, uh, lolo, um, a lot of seafood, sachi, root crops. A very balanced diet. I think leafy greens, like for Fiji, we have otta, which is like a fern. We incorporate that a lot with our seafood. Our taro leaves, our main core ingredient would definitely be root crops. Taro, and give them the leaves as well. Green bananas, coconut, coconut cream. Chop suey. You know, the ingredients we use and, and you know, just when we eat it. Things that have grown in the Pacific, in the Tong culture, it's food that your people eat and it's it's a food that's familiar to the culture, a thing that helps connect people. I would think there are more Pacific products, just, you know, um, with regards to things that I've mentioned so far, you know, terror and stuff like that, I, you know, um, traveling to countries like Australia and New Zealand, just those two places so far, um, you hardly, like, if you do find them, you, you, you find them in, like, little markets, mini markets that sell indigenous foods, not, you know, you won't find in that country. Yeah, I, I would think them as more Pacific Island foods or like tropical country foods, you know, just places that, you know, you grow those kind of things. But yeah, uh, being a Pacific Islander, I would associate those things as being Pacific Island foods. Pacific food is Pacific products rather than well. When you try to make your sort of kind of Pacific Island products or food that it's not authentic, and you can tell the difference between island food that's been made here in New Zealand and island food that's made back in the islands because they usually use things from scratch rather than things that come in cans and packets. Specifically Pacific Island products. So in Australia, when I went there in 2008, we went shopping and we could not find anything. My mum, I think my mum wanted like Cara coconut yeah. and we went to the supermarket, it was like a really big supermarket and we went to the international section and we couldn't find anything. Uh, if we did get food, Pacific Island food in Dunedin, that would be a dream come true. <laughs> in Fiji, you know, the Indian is a big part of our, our food. So. Coming to Dunedin, the first place I looked was Indian shop. Is there like an Indian market? There's a shop here in Dunedin. You find like an Indian market in New Zealand, like in any town, and they're from Fiji. You're definitely gonna find like taro and you know just cassava. To be, be completely honest, I don't usually go out looking for island food. Uh, but if I do get it, it's usually in church functions or birthday celebrations, graduations. And again, it's that whole bringing, you know, culture, people together. Call my mum. Ship it down. A big Pacific Island population in Hawke's Bay. Mm -hmm. So basically there's like people who make food and then sell it. Definitely like a blessing of... <laughs> <laughs> family came down with a big box <laughs> of food. <laughs> uh, substituting is most common. Growing up in a half caste family, I grew up eating a lot of rice, so that's not new to me. But definitely the taro substitute would be potatoes. I'm not a big fan of potatoes. <laughs> taro leaves, I, I substitute that a lot with spinach. If you think spinach is bad, <laughs> introduce yourself to taro leaves. <laughs> We'll get it from home in Christchurch. However, like there are certain things like taro leaves that not many people grow in New Zealand, so you'd substitute that for things like silver beets. By the cheap version. 